hello guys so this is the continuations of uh, properties reader right so now what I thought of let's not make this as a static class like this uh, let's make this as a constructor okay so right here public I mean let's not make uh, this as a static block make a constructor okay put a semicolon here before that you put a parenthesis and what you do is you do uh, control shift f okay now what we can do here is now we don't need to write two catch block one will be enough one will take care so so we are already loading that so why it is asking for one more try catch so let me do one thing even the file path we can write inside okay and okay so the problem is here we have file not found exceptions that is the reason uh, these exceptions will not be taken care so you write the parent one you write exceptions it will take care of everything now the error will not come control a control shift f so what happens when you write any specific error you have to write two catch block okay so now we remove the specific one okay a control shift f yeah so now our code is ready we have this file reader object uh, which will actually when we call the object of this class this file reader constructor will get invoked and internally it will load everything right now uh, what we can do is for this implicit weight and all that we can write a logic we can write or dot get property and we can write a key so what is the key here we have written implicit weight but here the return type is an integer and this will return a string so you just write integer dot parse int okay you parse the data so it becomes integer then error will go off right and you put one more parenthesis then again you return here same thing for explicit weight go here and you copy this for explicit weight come to the properties reader put explicit weight now for page load time you put a page load time here and take the page load time from the config.properties so we have here page load time go here and put a page load time for browser type since this is the enum class right so for the enum class you can just write same enum class dot value of okay this will take a string now you can write or dot get property and we can write the browser type so this string will get converted into the enum right so now what we did here is our uh, this uh, properties reader class is ready now okay properties reader class is ready our config reader interface is ready why i have made this interface you'll be wondering why because sometimes in your framework certain configurations should be fixed or the certain configurations implementation should be there if it is not there then you might end up with uh, missing some data okay so in those scenario like implicit weight explicit weight page load time browser type these are the mandatory requirements you have in your framework so make a interface okay and write the implementations in the properties reader what is the error okay so return what i missed okay return now this is your class remove the unused import yeah 
this is your interface this is your class this is your interface now for time being you just make one class called object reader okay later we'll understand why i'm writing this object reader just make one class object reader and here you make one variable public static and you write the type of the variable is called to config reader okay you make a variable of class type and then you just write a reader just create one variable do not do anything okay now you just have one variables now what happens as per interface concept in case of interface we can create the reference of interface and we can create the object of class that is allowed in the java so same concept you try to remember here we have a third class object reader here we are creating the reference of config reader the config reader is nothing but the interface okay so now go to the test base and we will write one logic so we'll write one annotations here public void before test okay and we can write here before test here what we can write is we can write whatever object reader we have created one class right so we can write object reader dot reader so i'm calling the reference dot we can write here new properties pr o p e r we have something called property property reader yeah so what does mean by this this mean that you are just creating so this is nothing but i will show you what i'm trying to do here is this is nothing but uh, you you have the interface of config reader right so con you create the instance of config reader you write here reader is equal to new properties reader both are same okay so basically you know you are creating the reference of config reader so import this config reader and object of property reader the same thing i am achieving in the different way like when you are designing the framework your code should be very neat and clean so i am writing that object reader which is the third class in this object reader you have a static method called reader so what is the type of reader it's a config reader same thing you are writing that config reader reader is equal to new same thing you are doing that but through different class so object reader dot reader so object reader dot reader is equal to new properties reader so this guy will initialize your uh, data on the runtime because before test you know that it will get called before all of your test now go here and replace the hard coded data so here you write you can how you can write what is the reference you have created here so if you go here we have created the reference of so what you can do here uh this reference the object reader dot reader right uh, uh we can write here we can write here uh object reader dot reader or we can just write reader okay so let this get in sliced object reader dot reader let's get in sliced now we don't need to do anything what we need to do since it is a static reader okay so this config reader uh, not config reader object reader this guy is the static and this is getting in sliced where in the before test so now i just go to the test base and i can just write object reader dot reader dot get implicit weight right now you are reading from config file this is the nice way of writing the framework so tomorrow if any change will happen in the config it will get impacted so do reader dot get explicit weight 
now everything is coming from the properties file it's a page load right get page load time so now what happens the reader where it will get in sliced it will get in sliced in the before test here right it will get in sliced in the before test so when this guy will get in sliced this reader class this reader is here and this config reader what are the method you have you have this many method and this method is getting implemented where in the properties reader all the method is getting implemented right in the properties reader and this properties reader where it is getting in sliced it is getting in sliced in the before a test object reader dot reader is equal to new properties reader so your properties reader object will get in sliced which means your all the method of this properties reader you can access through the reference of the interface same thing i'm doing that like you make the reference of interface object of the class and then on that obj dot you can call test1 test2 test3 method right same thing i am doing that nothing different so this is your object reader so i believe that you should not get confused because when you will get confused then you will not then my effort will go west so here what i try to do is i am just writing that if the interface right dot reader which is nothing but the reference of your interface is equal to new properties reader right so if i have to show you this is nothing but if i can write one interface here let's say interface a and let me make one class just to show you i am doing all that make one class b so you have a interface you have a class b now in this interface i will uh, uh, in this class b what i'll do is i'll write a main method right and i will go to the interface and i will write here void test 1 i will write void test 2 then I will go to class B. This class B implements interface A. Now place mouse over here. Add unimplemented method and you write in the bottom. Okay, here you can write a reference of interface. That's what I did. And object of B. Okay, now you can write obj dot can call all the method test1 then you can call obj dot test2 so on the interface interface reference you are able to call that now let's say you make one reference here class c this class c is the class here you are making one variable called public static of type a reader okay you are creating the reader a reader variable of type a so you can go to the class b or you can go to any case and you can write here sorry c dot reader is equal to new of b and then you can call you are initializing the reader class dot again you can call test one and then you can call test 2 same thing okay same thing you can do in this way also that is the reason same thing i did in the test base so once you have your reader in sliced then uh, you can call the implicit weight and explicit weight from the reader class so with this uh, we are done with the config reader right so if uh, yeah we are done with the config reader and if tomorrow let's say you will get a requirement where uh, you need to add some more config file right you can just copy paste this you can just copy paste this you do not need to change anything so now you cannot duplicate the file path okay so you don't need to change anything just let's in terms of config file let's say you have something called config file one so you can just change like this you don't need to do any coding change so all your properties file will be 
read here okay so with this i'll close the video and in my next video i will talk about some other concepts which is required for the framework thank you guys thank you for watching this